Hi guys, Andy Stewart here. Today we're going to take our ArcGIS Indoors model of Building L and create a dashboard, specifically a commercial real estate management dashboard. Before getting started on building our operations dashboard, I'd like to suggest watching our other ArcGIS Indoors videos. Check out the link below to find our YouTube playlist to have an entire walkthrough on getting your model stood up. If you've already published your ArcGIS Indoors web map from ArcGIS Pro, you'll notice that it comes over as a web image layer with other feature layers stacked underneath as sublayers. And we can take a look at ArcGIS Pro and see how this web image layer is being published with our sub feature layers. This web image layer is perfectly fine to use in the ArcGIS Indoors map and using it to enable the functionality of ArcGIS Indoors. But to enable our operations dashboard, we need to have the web map published as individual feature services. So the first thing we're going to do is publish our ArcGIS Indoors model to our portal from ArcGIS Pro. We're going to publish the web map by selecting web layer and publish web layer in our share tab. The web map image layer by default is selected to display and analyze data from sublayers defined in a map service. We need to publish a feature service for our layers to allow it to display and analyze data as their own individual layers. Therefore, we need to first select copy all data and then select feature as the layer type. This will give us access to all our layers as individual, editable, and dynamic layers in our operations dashboard. Once done, go ahead and publish your web map. Once we have published our web map to our portal, go ahead and locate your web map in your contents pane. Then open your web map in Map Viewer. Now that we have all the layers we want for our dashboard, let's rearrange the layers so that visualization is easier. I'm putting my points of interest at the top and having levels, details, and units closer to the bottom. Once you're done, go ahead and press save. Now we are gonna to go to the newly created web map and go to the create web app button and locate operations dashboard. The first thing we'll do is create a header for our dashboard and give it a real estate icon. Then we're going to add a number selector to our header and choose the upper limit and lower limit to match the span of our floors. Next, go to the Actions and prescribe each unit's field to be targeting level number. Once you are complete, press Done and look at your results. Remember to press Save. The first couple of widgets we will create will be for office space utilization. Go ahead and add a pie chart for units. The first filter we will do is for use type, which will include all office space units. We will add another filter for description and make sure it includes vacant and occupied. Go to grouped values, set category field as description and statistic as count. Now go to chart. In chart, go to your legend and make sure you have visibility checked as values. Go to your font size and change it to 13. In slices, delete all unnecessary fields. Just keep vacant and occupied. If you have a hex code, go ahead and use the hex code that you prefer. For me, I chose vacant to be blue and pink to be occupied.
Next, go to the General tab. Add the title to whatever the pie chart is referring to. For me, it was Office Space Utilization Distribution. Next, go to Actions. In Actions, select the added target to be Units. We will now create an indicator widget for occupied office space. Go to the indicator left tab and click Icon, choosing an icon that best fits the description of your indicator. Then go to the General tab and type in a title. I chose Number of Occupied Offices. Once that's done, go to the Color Text button and choose a hex that fits your schema of your pie chart. Remember to press Done once complete. Repeat this previous step for creating a vacant office space indicator. As you can see, I've already done it. We are now moving our indicators and pie chart to fit evenly by filling in blank space. Once you're done adjusting, remember to press Save. The next widget we will create is a list widget for conference room bookings. Select Unit as our layer, go to Filter, and select Use Type, and filter for Equal to Conference Room. Then go to the List options and add pertinent info about our conference rooms. Make sure to toggle on the HTML code source to choose what fields we want to add. Then go to the General tab and add a title. My title is Conference Room Details. Then go to the Actions tab and select Flash, Zoom, and Pan to map. Once you are finished, press Done. The next widget we will be working on is a conference room booking serial chart. Select the layer units to display. In data, filter use type equal to conference room. In categories from, select features. Make the categories field name. For Series 1 field, select Number of Weekly Bookings, and have the Sort By field as Name Ascending. Then go to your Category Access tab. Type the title Conference Room Name. Make sure your labels is turned on. Go to your Value Access tab and type in the title the Number of Weekly Bookings. Also make sure the visibility is turned on. Then go to your Series tab. Select your hex color code to match the conference room polygon. Make sure your labels is turned on. Then go to your General tab. For the title, call it Number of Weekly Conference Room Booking. Next, go to your Actions tab. In Actions, select Flash, Pan, and Zoom to map.
Once completed, press Done. Now you have a serial chart that will help you better understand which rooms are booked more frequently. Go ahead and adjust the serial chart to wherever you'd like. Press Save. The last widget we will create will be a serial chart for capacity to utilization distribution of conference rooms. For layer, select Units. For filter, select Equal to Conference Room. Make your categories from Features. For Category field, select Name. For Series 1 field, put Capacity. For Series 2 field, put Utilization. And have it sort by Name Ascending. Then go ahead and select Category Access tab. In the Category Access tab, we're going to give the title Name of Conference Room. Then make sure your visibility is on. Then go to your Value Access tab. Give it the title Number of People. Also make sure your visibility is turned on. Then go to your Series tab. For Series, change the color to match the schema. In your General tab, give the title Capacity to Utilization Distribution of Conference Rooms. In your Actions tab, select Flash, Pan, and Zoom to map. Once this step is complete, press Done. Now you have a utilization to capacity distribution of conference rooms that makes viewing a lot easier. Go ahead and rearrange everything and make sure it's nice and neat within your dashboard. The next step is to make the widgets filter by floor and adjust the map's extent. Go to your number selector in your header and in the actions tab, add the target to the two indicators, the pie chart, the list, and the first serial chart. Make sure the target field is level number. Once complete, remember to press Done. Now, go into your Map Settings, go to the Map Actions, and select the two indicators, the pie chart, the list, and the first serial chart. Now, go ahead and view your results. You can see that when you zoom in and out, the widgets change based on the extent of the map. Also, you'll notice that the widgets adjust when you use the number selector to choose the floor. This will make it easier for, say, a facility manager or director to visualize any particular adjustments to their building. Another trick is that you can switch your map's theme to dark or light mode. Note that if you do switch it to dark mode, you may have to switch fonts and icon colors. Let's keep it on light mode. The last step I will want to do in my dashboard is optionally add a legend, layer visibility, and a base map switcher. By doing this, I will have more options in regards to what I want to see within my map. For my data set, I created an occupied and vacant office space layer in ArcGIS Pro, which can easily be done by selecting, exporting, and creating a new layer. As you can see, the ability to manage your web map in your dashboard brings tons of opportunities to the table. 
By having a dashboard like this one, managers and directors save time and money in corporate interior planning and commercial space utilization management. If you want to learn more about being able to use ArcGIS indoors and create a customized dashboard like this one, visit our webpage in the description below. Thank you.